So, yeah, shalom. <coughs> shalom. Uh, coming back to, uh, you know, uh, talk about this, uh, uh, you know, dude, this devil called Pete Robertson, which you see on the screen. And in the first part, I uh, gave you already the, the context of what this uh, thing is about. And as we go into uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, from which he said that scripture is talking about um, if you believe in the Heavenly Father, then it's okay for you to, uh, you know, get rid of the of the statutes and the, uh, the commandments that the Heavenly Father gave to the nation of Israel. Okay, so... Uh, go again in Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, it says, uh, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So he's taking the the loose part. He's taking it like, you know, if you lose the commandments and the statutes, it shall be loosed unto you in heaven. Which is not the case, because the Heavenly Father will give us a new heart in the kingdom of heaven. And in that new heart, with that new heart, and heart goes to the mind, uh, la'ab, the word la'ab means mind, uh, in that new kingdom, in the kingdom of heaven, we, we're gonna have the, the, the laws and the statutes and the commandments perfect in our heart, in our mind. So, you know, that, that, there won't be need, there will, there won't, there will be no need of a law written, you know? So, yeah, he's crazy, man. He's crazy, that guy. Uh, let's go into John chapter 20, verse 23. John chapter 20, verse 23. <coughs> Who, whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. <laughs> I'm going to pick that up in the blue letter too. Because mm. we need the, you know, the, 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 the definition of that word remit. Okay? John chapter 20. Verse 23, and it goes, Whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them, and whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. Alright? So that word, you remit. Uh, I have to go back again. So the Greek word for remit, is uh, afeaimi, you know, and it means to send away, to bid, going away, or depart, you know, to send forth, yield up, to expire, to let go, you know, to omit, neglect, to depart from anyone, to desert wrongfully, to go away, leaving something behind, to leave one by not taking him as a companion. To leave on dying, leave behind one, to leave so that what is left may remain. Leave remaining, abandon, you know. So, um, go back. Um, whosoever sins she uh, leave behind, they are remitted unto them. They are left behind unto them. And whosoever sins she retain, they are retained. So, whatever you do wrongfully here on, on this planet Earth, you're going to uh, uh, answer for that. Yeah, There's no way around it. You're not going to be able to say, yeah, I'll get away with stuff. No, in the end of the day, you're going to go there and your sins that you think that you remit right here, you know, they're still staining onto you in the, in the, in the kingdom of heaven, right? 
So let's go to First Timothy. Uh, chapter 1, verse 18 and 20, till 20. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before unto thee, before on thee, that thou be them mightest ward a good warfare. Meaning, you know, uh, standing behind the scriptures, believing in it that Yahweh Shai is the, you know, the true and only uh, uh, salvation. You know, uh, for you as an Israelite, there's no other uh, way to save yourself. You know, holding faith and a good conscience, which some, having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. So, you know, all these celebrities, big-time guys with big money, drug dealers, whatever, you know, they, uh, they never had faith. And even some who are in the truth, you know, and, and, and put away the truth, they, uh, they, they have been made shipwrecked, you know. The ship stranded on death row. <laughs> of which is Himenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn to blaspheme. That they may learn not to blaspheme. This is talking about Esau, you know. E, so-called white man. You know, the most I have delivered them unto Esau. Of, uh, onto Satan, man. Right? You know? So that guy that's talking about, uh, yeah, you can leave it, Mr. Pat Robertson, got a few more scriptures for him. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 22, and it reads in verse 14, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter into the gates into the city, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, idolaters and whosoever loved and make it a lie. You know? And that's exactly what he's doing, man. He make it a lie. You know? So that's what it tells you to keep the commandments. In the, in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. This is the, the, the book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. And it reads, they that are delivered from the noise of arches in the place of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the heavenly father, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Alright? So they rehearse the righteous acts. And why is that? Hebrew Israelites rehearse the righteous acts. You know, the, the hopeful elect does that. You know, the hopeful elect. Hebrews chapter 13, man. Right? Hebrews chapter 13 and 14, and it reads, For here we have no continuous sitting, but we seek one to come. Talking about the kingdom of heaven. That's what this is all about, you know. Trying to push this through, trying to wake up whoever needs to hear, still, still hear, he still hear it, you know. And a comrade like this comes on television, and people think like, oh yeah, he knows stuff, especially because he's a so-called white man. You know, I was in the in the in the in the supermarket, the Turkish supermarket earlier this day, and there was an Edomite inside, ordering a whole big order of meat. Because it's Christmas time, right? He think he's smart. I'm going to buy stuff at the third. But it's a long time, man, before they left the store. He had many bags. But on his way out, there were a whole lot of these Ishmaelites and uh, Amalekites. Because a whole lot of them, them Turkish people are Amalekites. They were all happy with him. Hey, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> but then in the Dutch, you know? All happy. And that's what it is, man. When it's brought by these by this you know, cave beasts, the world is always in awe. And like, yeah, this must be the truth because he said it, you know. Yeah, man, that's the ways of the world. Uh, uh, to finish this off, man, we go to Second Esther chapter 7, verse 1 to 8. Uh, because, you know, it's easy, man, to... Uh, to, to walk the broad path, the broad way that they uh, laid down for us. That yellow brick road, 
You know, they, 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 it's easy to walk that path. But to go in, you know, the small path to walk and not to be disturbed on the left or on your right, because there might be fire, because there might be water. Scripture is going to say it. But, uh, you know, keep focus on where you have to go. The smaller and the, the less broad the path goes. And you can only go in by one by one, you know. So at least, Second Esther chapter 7 verse 1. And when I had made an end of speaking these words, this is Esther speaking with the uh, angel uh, uh, Uriel, there was, sent, there was sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the night before. And he said unto me, Up, Esther, and hear the words that I come to tell thee. And I said, Speak on, my power. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? See, the broad is the kingdom of heaven. That is the continuing city, you know. That's broad. That is everything possible, you know. But you've got to go through the, through the narrow to get there. So, uh, verse 6. There is also another thing. A city is built, the continuing city, and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left hand of deep water. And one only path between the boat, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could, could but one man go there at once. Alright? So, go on, if you want to believe. Just, just believe a, a comrade like that, Pat Robinson, be on the television, speaking lies. Go on. And, 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 and think he speak the truth. He speak the truth. You know? Because it says here in Philippians chapter 2 verse 12, we just said it, only one man can enter at a time, right? Philippians chapter 2 verse 12, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Alright? So, uh, I, was, I just had to bring out these scriptures to uh, finish uh, the first part. And, uh, yeah. Fuck a comrade like this, man. Pat Robertson. Crap. So with that, I say shalom.